Hey, what's going on? This is Steve Springer with QualityAtBats.com. You ever heard of me? Of course not. I spent 14 years in the minor leagues. 1,591 minor league games. I had 1,592 hits. I love it. I got two hits in each league in the big leagues. Doesn't sound that great until I tell you what I was when I started. So when I was a freshman in high school, I was 4'11", 90 pounds. I was the smallest kid in school. By the time I was a senior, I was 5'8", 140 pounds. Didn't start my senior year. I got cut in college. I was 19 years old, freshman in college. I got three at-bats and I played in the big leagues. Do not let anybody tell you that you're too small to play this game, right? Every single player has two players in you. I got a confident you who's a really good player and I got a non-confident you who sucks. He can't play anymore. How do we get the right guy playing is what I teach. We have to learn how to be a better competitor than we are a player. We have to get great at competing with confidence when you're not getting hits because that's going to dictate how far you play in this game. I will give you the best tip that you will ever get in baseball. If you could learn how to play every single day the rest of your life, and I don't give a crap mode about me, it's not about you. It's about you helping your team, and you play every single day like it's opening day. Right? Nobody in the history of baseball has ever played opening day with no confidence. Why? because I got no yesterday beating me up. And this is what happens in baseball, it happens in life. We let yesterday beat us up today too much, right? I go 0 for 4 yesterday, I'm 0 for 2 in the next game, and now in my mind I'm 0 for 6. I'm letting yesterday's bad game play today, yet I got a new game, new pitcher, new hero every single day that we play. If you like your abilities and your abilities aren't showing up, it's not your abilities problem, man, it's what you're thinking. I wanna talk about Q2. How do we get the right guy playing every single day? Tip number one, Get rid of your stats. Get rid of your batting average. It's the biggest trap in baseball. You hit three balls right on the screws, right at somebody. You beat the pitcher. The pitcher knows you beat him. Pitcher's mom knows you beat him. Your batting average comes down like this. You think you failed, and now the wrong you starts playing. And he sucks. Get the right guy playing every single day like it's opening day, bro. With my bundle, you get my DVD. Right? I talk about hitting between four and six. Right, the pitcher's one, the catcher's ten. This is my neutral stance at five. You with me? Right, that pitcher gets to about right here, and I need something going back inside six and hitting up against four. Right, and staying in between your knees. If you leave your posture, it's not a strike. Right, my DVD, we're talking about drills. We're hitting with 11 year old, 12 year olds, 16 year olds. Right, we have to get better. We have to start learning on what good players are doing. Right, and you know what? You could learn from what bad players are doing, that what not to do. Like, I didn't come out of the womb with what I know, right? I promise you, if you say something smart, I'm going to give you credit once and then it's mine. If I need a plumber, I'm not calling Nolan Arenado. I'm calling a plumber. Well, if my kid's going to be a big leaguer one day, trust me, I'm going to get good information, whether it's me or somebody else. I want to talk about my book, Springtime. It's pretty much my life story, man. I, I, I believe that everybody's got a story. I feel I got a great story, man. I feel that my life is the baseball version of Rudy. When I was 4'11", I was 90 pounds. I made the team because my brother was the star of the team. I got three at-bats. By the time I was a senior, I was 5'8", 140 pounds, thinking I got nobody ahead of me. I'm going to show them I could play. And as a sophomore, take my job. I did not start my senior year in high school. I was 19 years old, freshman in college, three at-bats, and I played in the big leagues. Now, we all want our kid to be a big leaguer, don't we? So did I. Right? Too many kids are quitting this game at 13 years old because of the pressure that's put on them by the one who loves them the most, us parents, and Johnny Testosterone Coach, you on my 10-year-old. Right? I made your own personal audio right? that, that's going to help you uh, be a better parent. Your kid's going to get some of the stuff that I talked to if he's 10, 11, 12. Trust me, you're going to get it all. Because let me give you another little tip. I don't care what you do for a living, you are your kid's number one coach. You know why? because you live with them. If your kid's gonna want to play college baseball, he wants to be a big leaguer, you need to know what I know. I need you to be his number one coach, right? So I made a, in my bundle, I got a beautiful audio CD just for you to get better. I made a new audio called Q15. It's 15 minutes of me just nailing everything that I am. I talk way quicker in this one, right? But we're gonna learn how to show up every single day because until you do, trust me, you will underachieve. There's no such thing as an underachiever in baseball. Right? Dustin Bedore is not an underachiever, bro. Right? He was a really, really good player because he's this big, it seems like he overachieved. No, but do you know how many underachievers there are in this game? You know how many first rounders can't get out of A ball because of their mind? And too many players let their mind get in the way of their ability. And this is the whole thing. I used to think that baseball was about the mind, uh, the approach and mechanics, all three important. I've changed it. I believe this is about the approach, the mind and mechanics. I don't care how confident you are. I don't care how good your mechanics are. If your approach sucks, Trust me, you're going to lose your confidence and your mechanics are going to break down. 
So we're talking about 15 minutes of what I need to do to prepare for this game. You play every day like it's opening day. You play in I don't give a crap mode. When somebody asks you what you do for a living from now on, you tell them you hit balls hard for a living. And if you get a hit, it's a bonus. You change what you think success is. Get rid of the batting average, the biggest trap in the game. I hit three balls right on the screws, right at somebody. Baseball says I suck? Are you kidding me? Let's get the right guy playing. And this is what we talk about in Q15. Go to my website, qualityatbats.com. I highly recommend getting my bundle. Right, we have it at a discounted price, and you will get better. Ground ball up the middle for Springer. So Steve with his second hit of the night. And they're bouncing off the walls down in Huntington Beach. Family night down there. <laughs> and uh, they are getting the ball. It's his first National League hit.